Hey everyone, it is Mr. Vargas once again, looking to help out Math 8, this time with homework 5.3, page 393 all, and this is going to be on the angles of triangles. So just a quick refresher, what we learned in class is that the interior angle sum property of triangles states that if you have three angles, angle one plus angle two plus angle three, for a triangle, the sum of those measures, so I guess let me write it this way, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three, that sum is equal to 180 degrees if you're talking about the inside interior of a triangle. With that said, let's jump into some homework examples. Number one, we've got a triangle that looks like this. It's inside of some type of kite, but we don't really care about the kite, we just care about the triangle. Um, we're given this is x degrees, and we've got 85, and we've got 40. So, all three of these angles need to add up to 180 degrees so we can actually write an equation. I know the first angle is 40 degrees plus the second angle is 85 degrees and that missing angle we're not sure about it yet we're gonna solve for it but that total has to equal 180. Using some algebra let's combine these numbers on the left that makes 125 degrees plus x equals 180 and going back to solving equations, I've got a positive 125, and I'm trying to get x all alone. Draw my little mirror. Okay. Subtract 125 on both sides. And bring down your x. So the missing angle has a measure of uh, 55 degrees. And that would be your answer if you want to double check add all three of those angles back up 40 40 oh, sorry 40 plus 85 plus 55 and it should come out to 180 <clears throat> moving right along to number 3 number 3 this one's kind of strange uh, they say the measures of the angles of triangle RST okay so let's do let's make a triangle and we'll call it R, this will be R, S, T, um, are in the ratio 2 to 4 to 9. What are the measures of the angles? Okay, this one's kind of a tricky one. What you basically need to know is that the ratio of this angle right here to this angle to this angle is 2 to 4 to 9 and we're going to substitute in an x so 2x to 4x to 9x okay knowing what we know about the interior angle sum theorem for triangles uh, 2x plus 4x plus 9x has to equal 180 degrees. Okay, let's solve for x, and then we can go back and figure out what the exact measures of those angles are. Adding up all of my x's, they can all go in the same train car because they all have this, they're all like terms. So I've got 2x plus 4x makes 6x plus 9x makes 15x, and that's equal to 180. All right, draw my little mirror. Okay, I gotta divide by 15 on this side. And divide by 15 on the other side. So that gets you x is equal to, uh, 15 goes into 180. Let's do some quick division over here. Top dog in the house, bottom dog sleeps outside. 15 goes into 18 one time, subtract, bring down, and 2 times 15 is 30. So x is equal to 12. Fantastic. Now that we know that, we can go back and solve 
for those angles, those different angle measures. <clears throat> All right, so I know that x is worth 12. So r is equal to 2x, which means 2 times 12. So r is 24 degrees. Angle s is equal to 4x, which is just 4 times 12. So that makes 48 degrees. And then last is t. t was equal to 9x. That's the big angle. It's going to be equal to 9 times 12, which you know is 108 degrees. Double checking, 24 plus 48 is 72, plus 108 makes 180. So we did a good job. We found the appropriate angle measurements. I'll let you try number four. It's basically the same exact type of problem, but with the ratio of 3 to 3 to 6. Okay, let's move down to number six. All right, number six just says we have a triangle like this. And we know this is 120 degrees right here. And we know that this is 58 degrees right here. And this is x degrees. So we're trying to figure out what in the world is the value of x. Well, Mr. Morrow taught you guys about the remote interior angle, or yeah, remote interior angle theorem. And basically what that says is this angle plus this angle right here has to equal the, rem the exterior angle. So the remote interior angles, remote meaning they're far away, and inside the triangle, or is congruent or equal to the measure of the exterior angle. So let's set up an equation. X plus 58 is equal to 120 degrees. And from there we can simply solve for the value of X. Okay, so subtract 58 from both sides. Okay, bring that X down. And x is equal to borrow, all right, 2, borrow again, 62 degrees. There you go, so x equals 62 degrees, not too bad. Last one, let's talk about number 8. Number 8. So... Number 8 says, in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 2x plus 3, the measure of angle B is 4x plus 2, and the measure of angle C is 2x minus 1. What are the measures of the angles? Let's draw a triangle. I'm going to call this A, B, and C. And they give us some information. A is 2x plus 3. B is 4x plus 2. And C is 2x minus 1. All right. Using what we know about the interior angle sum theorem of a triangle, all of these angles need to add up to 180. So let's set up an equation. 2x plus 3. Oops, I'll space that out a little better. 2x plus 3. That takes care of angle A. Plus... Uh, 4x plus 2, that takes care of angle B, plus 2x minus 1, that takes care of angle C. All that has to be equal to 180. All right, let's do some combining, some combining of like terms. I'm going to put all of my x's into the same basket or the same train car. I'll get to go on that white train car. So I have 2x's plus 4x's plus 2x's just gets me 8x's. Okay, and then I'm going to put my regular numbers in the same train car. And I've got 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 1 is 4. So positive 4, and all that has to be equal to 180 degrees. Solving for x, reverse order of operations tells me to get rid of this 4 first by subtracting. 
and bring it on down, 8x is equal to 176. The last step is to divide on both sides. Okay, so now you've got x equals, um, 8 goes into 17 two times with the remainder of 1, and then 8 goes into 16 two times. So x is 22. Now you can go back and find the values of a, b, and c, knowing that x is 2. So angle a, angle a is equal to 2x plus 3. All right, and we know that x is 22, so this is really 2 times 22 plus 3. And that would just be equal to 2 times 2 is 44, plus 3 is 47. All right, and I'm going to set up the other ones and let you guys um, solve for the missing values. So angle B would be equal to, what was it, 4x plus 2. 4x plus 2. So see if you can find angle B. And then angle C was equal to... 2x minus 1. All right, so your job is to plug in for x, what you know about it. I think it was 22. And figure out what those other angles are. Good luck on the rest of the assignment, and see you in class.